Hey, welcome to Wait a Minute, my videos, my thoughts, and I'm sharing them with you. So hey, uh, I just backed out in neutral and thought, wait, how come I'm not going? <laughs> you gotta have the car in here for it to move. Anyway, just saying. We're all um, safe. Meanwhile, hey, happy Wednesday. This is a great day for me because I get to rest all day long and then I get to go see my boy. Um, as it turns out, maybe my boys, which would be cool. I like I like uh, all the time I've been able to spend with my boys lately. It's very nice. I really, 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 really enjoy it. And um, in case anybody wondered, uh, I really enjoy it. It's fun. And, and my boys are great and I have a good time with them and um, don't have to slap them because that's, you know, good. Anyways, so I've made like three videos before this one and ditched them all before they were a minute long because <clears throat> I couldn't make my point in a minute so I might as well not make it at all, right? Because videos have to be a minute long for people to pay attention. Hey! We're not microwaves. We do things the way we do things and they have to be, um, point has to be made. If you can't make it in a minute, you know what? Then you have to shut down everybody else that doesn't do a minute. If, if my videos have to be a minute long, then your doctor's visits have to be a minute long because you know they have to make their point in one minute or I'm moving on. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get so much flack for saying that. Anyway, I love you guys and um, let's move on. So today, I was talking to somebody about some things and so I'm gonna probably ramble because I'm going through different things, okay? Um, when you do something wrong, and I'm not talking just, just whatever, but especially things that come with a noticeable consequence. When you do something wrong, how do you handle that? What do you do next? You've done something, boom, that's been done, and nothing's being said about it yet because, hey, nothing's been, you know, you're just, you did something wrong, okay? Well, what happens when it comes back and bites you that you did something wrong, and then all of a sudden, people know um, the law or whoever you harmed or whatever, or you you know, if you did something to your body, then your system is all out of whack or whatever the dealio is. What do you do then? Well, I have somebody that I'm very close to that's in jail right now, and um, it breaks my heart because I don't want him to be there, okay? So I'm not trying to excuse anybody's baloney, all right? We're not at all doing that, okay? You've done something wrong, and you have to pay the consequence, you know, that's whatever. But he's in jail, and I love him very much, and I hate for him to be in jail because he's not made for jail. He pretends to be all tough and, and you know, streetwise and whatever else, but most people, when they get to jail, that goes away. They might act act a fool in there, they might do some stupid things in there, um, but they're, you know, little boys and girls with, uh, you know, they're scared, scared of little boys and girls. Anyway, I'm probably gonna get flack for that too, but it's true. Most of the young people that I know of, when they go to jail, they become different people. Um, some of them put on a bigger front so people think they're tough so they won't mess with them, but they're basically scared little boys and girls. Uh, as a rule. Anyway, moving on. Um, my buddy's in jail, and he may have to do a while. But he's not been sentenced yet, but looking at probably, you know, a couple years. And that sucks, because he's a young man, he's got a life, you know, ahead of him, and he could do anything he wants, but that's where he is right now. So I'm praying for him, I love him, I care about him, I want to see him do great things. Um, and if it starts in jail, well, it starts in jail. Anyway, my point is this. We, as, you know, and now I understand why kids do stupid stuff, because they're still learning, they still, I mean, we're all still learning and growing, but I mean, kids are still, have kid mentality and kid maturity. Um, but I'm finding that a lot of adults have that same kid mentality, and maybe the kid maturity. But here's the thing, when we do something wrong, and it comes back to bite us. Let's not blame anything else but ourselves. Now, even if your environment, you know, contributed, or the people around you contributed, or you know, the things that have happened to you in your life contributed, um, when it comes to your face, it's yours. Own it. You did something. Here's the consequence. Um, when I was younger. I didn't always realize that the, what the consequence was. Now, I'm talking about a young man. Um, you do things and you think, okay, here. For example, 
when I was a young husband, well, actually, even before that, um, I didn't know what credit was, like, you know, credit bureaus sending me letters or whatever. I had a magazine subscription, and, and I stopped it, but they didn't stop sending them, and they kept billing me, and eventually went to the credit bureau. And I was like, ooh, turn it into the credit bureau. That's going to hurt. I didn't know what the heck that meant. Now, you got to realize that this was 30-plus years ago. I don't know. Yeah, 30-plus years ago. So, um, I really didn't know. And I wasn't taught that because my parents didn't have bad credit. And I didn't really, you know, I don't know if they even knew at that time. And they didn't teach us at school. So, I didn't know what that meant. Credit bureau. Ooh, scary. Scary thing. Um, anyways, the point is, is I made a lot of financial stupid choices. Financially stupid choices. And in, um... Once I got married, we made financially stupid choices, blah, blah, blah. And that went on for a while, and my credit got shot to crap. I mean, like, really bad credit. Um, and I had to deal with that my whole life. Like, literally, the last thing on my credit report just fell off. Just got finished. Just now. Um, just, you know, quick snippet. It was something that I did not do. It wasn't supposed to be on there. I fought it, and they never took it off. And I was like, you know what? That's never getting paid, ever. And it wasn't, because I didn't know it. And, you know, I stood, stood my ground. Some people might not agree with that, but hey, that's what I did. Anyway, here's the point. I made financially stupid decisions. And, you know, at the time, we did a lot of fun things, and we spent money on stupid crap. And, um, yeah, you know, we had nice cars, and we did fun things, and we spent money on clothes, and eating out, and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it was fun. But our consequence was, the rest of my life, I had bad credit. Well... Not now. Now it's, you know, it's time for me to start credit, which is really weird too. That I don't have bad credit, but I got to start over again. So here's the deal. Sometimes we make stupid mistakes that have consequences. And then once that's all taken care of, we still have to start over again and put the work in to become whatever it is that we should have been in the first place. The, the thing stunted us. So, like for example, my friend who's in jail, he made some really stupid decisions. And... Um, there was a lot of contributing factors, drugs and, uh, you know, uh, messed up childhood and all kinds of things. I don't even know um, everything, but um, geographic uh, location, like people that he hung out with and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of factors there. But the fact is, he's in jail because he put himself there. Um, he's had chances after chances after chances. Um, when you get a chance to not go to jail, take it. You know, that's your, you know, you're not... It's not everyone else's fault. And you can't always blame the system and your lawyer and the police. If you did something like that and you got busted for it and you went to jail, own it. It's yours. You did it. Um, I'm going to hate that. I'm sorry for you, but that's the way it is. Um, any other time before COVID, I could go visit people in jail, and I would. But that's been off the table for over a year now, and that sucks because I always try to go visit people in jail. And um, so there. I don't know why I'm saying all that, but here's the deal. When you when you screw up, own it. Because you can't do anything about it until you own it. You can blame everybody in the world. You might even get out of that thing by blaming somebody else and, and working through, you know, that premise or whatever. But the ultimate thing comes down to it's you. You did it. You're the one. You need to fix it. You need to deal with it. You need to take care of it. And when you get out of that, you might have to start over. You might have to rebuild who you're supposed to be because you've got all those points against you. You might have to rebuild. But sometimes rebuilding is great. Like right now I'm at the rebuilding stage of my credit. Um, for the first time in years and years and years and years, I don't have bad credit. I just don't have credit, which is bad too. But um, Yeah, it, it, consequences have happened. I've gone through the thing. I've suffered enough. Um, now it's time to build my credit. And I'm going to do that. And that's... You know, I'm not telling you guys all that stuff. Ooh, look at my personal business. Everybody knows, you know, I'm disabled and whatever else. But, um, yeah, now is a good time to start. If you've gone through a thing or if you're dealing with a thing, own it, deal with it, and then start over. It's okay to start over. If you have to start over a thousand times, do what you got to do to do what you got to do. You know what I mean? I love you guys, and I don't know if this is rambling too much, but this is on my heart, and I thought I'd share it with you because that's what these videos are about. So, um, thanks for tuning in to wait a minute, and um, I'm Wade, and these are my minutes. Bye.